Yo, what's going on? Camilo here. So we're finally doing a Bennett guide. I never really did one besides him being one of the best characters in the game. I mean, I always thought it was like kind of easy to build him and there wasn't really much to talk about. But yeah, there are a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, He's featured in the next banner. I want to do a video about him. So yeah, let's begin. All right, so first of all, we're going to be talking about Bennett's role. He's just going to be a support for your team. Um, Just say straight up support, in my opinion. He's not even really like a sub DPS or anything like that. Just like a straight up support for your team. Um, You're going to pop in his elemental burst, stay inside it. It's going to heal you and it's going to give you attack bonus. And it's also going to cleanse you. Most importantly, the attack bonus, which is what makes Bennett a very good character. Um, His elemental skill is going to be pretty simple. You just want to tap it, collects particles, and that's it. His auto attack are pretty much non-existent they're very bad you don't want to use them at all now for his builds some people like to include damage in his builds a little bit some people just want to like an easy cheap build they just want to focus on like energy recharge hp and that's it um it's up to you in my personal opinion i don't think bennett's damage is really like that important so if you can you might get a little bit of crit you know crit damage attack stuff like that and then maybe hp but personally i definitely would not recommend it just stack in hp and recharge and that's it he's just a support he wouldn't really be like a very good sub dps maybe in some teams if you melt like his burst and stuff like that but bennett in general is definitely made to be a support he's not really like meant for damage now for his talent priorities, you definitely want to upgrade his elemental burst first. It's the main talent for Bennett. Um, he's definitely going to need his elemental burst upgraded to the maximum level you can. Even if you crown it, it's going to be worth it in my opinion. Like it's Bennett, you're going to be using him in any team. So yeah, you definitely want to prioritize his elemental burst by a long shot. Next, you might want to upgrade his elemental skill. It's not really that important. The only thing you're going to gain is some extra damage and that's it. So you don't really need to upgrade at all but if you want to you can get it to like level six maybe level eight or something like that and that's it um auto attacks as i said they're definitely not important at all yeah you probably will never auto attack with bennett so yeah you definitely don't want to upgrade them i guess if you want to but they're not necessary at all now moving on to Bennett's constellations, we're going to see which ones are worth it and which ones are not. So starting off with the C1, um, originally with like C0 Bennett, you're going to have to get to 70% HP with a character on the field to get the attack buff. So you're going to have to heal first when you have max HP and then when you get the maximum heals, you're going to get the attack bonus. But with C1, you're going to remove that restriction and you're also going to gain some additional attack bonus. So yeah, it's a pretty good constellation. In my opinion, it's even kind of necessary. Necessary. I mean, even at C0, he's going to be healing fast, so it's not really like a big deal or a big problem. But, you know, it's going to be much more comfortable to like um, be able to just pop the burst and then use whatever you'd want to use. Not like use the burst, wait for the healing to finish and then use the abilities and stuff like that. So yeah, C1, it's pretty cheap and it's a pretty valuable constellation. I definitely recommend getting it for Bennett. Moving on to his C2, um, when his HP falls below 70%, his energy recharge is increased by... 30 percent just an energy recharge increase pretty cool nothing like um necessary or anything like that but it's a pretty good constellation c3 is just going to increase the level of your elemental skill definitely don't need that um as i said before his skill is not really that important so yeah c4 using a normal attack is just some normal attack some things you definitely don't need that you won't be auto attacking with bennett please don't maybe dps bennett or something like that but that's not what we're doing today so so yeah, C4 is defo a skip. C5 gonna increase the level of your elemental burst. Pretty good constellation if you can get it. Um, as I said before, your elemental burst is gonna be, you know, a very important thing on your kit. So a three level upgrade is definitely gonna be pretty good. It's gonna increase your attack bonus, your healing, which is very, very good. Um, in my opinion, I don't know if I would say it's worth it, but it's definitely a very good constellation. C6 is that, um, if you have sword, clay, more polearm, whatever, um, if you're inside this Bennett elemental burst, it's gonna infuse the other attacks of the character with pyro and give him pyro damage bonus now for some teams for like d look for example or whatever this constellation is gonna be very good but for a lot of other teams it's gonna like destroy the team if you're using bennett with like um eula for example a physical dps it's gonna turn her auto attacks into pyro which is not good so c6 is definitely not worth it um not just not worth it it's a bad constellation so even if you have c6 don't activate it don't toggle the thing it's definitely gonna ruin your account so until they do like the constellation 
constellations on and off, then don't activate the sixth constellation. So C6, you don't need it. Um, not just not need it, but definitely just stay away from it. Even if you have it, don't activate it. So yeah, first constellations, generally I'd recommend C1, maybe even C2, and that's about it. Even that C0 is going to be pretty playable, but yeah, C1 is going to make him a lot better. Alright, so now moving on to Benny Boy's weapon. So for his weapons, guys, um, as I said, we're not really focusing on damage that much. So we're going to focus on the things that Bennett needs for support. Now, what does Bennett need for support? Um, preferably, he's going to need some energy recharge, but most importantly, he's going to need the high base attack. The most important thing that Bennett is going to give you is the attack bonus. And this attack bonus comes from Bennett's base attack. That means his level's base attack. So you'd want to upgrade Bennett's level, you know, as much as you you can maybe get him to like level 80 or maybe even 90 is going to be worth it that attack this base attack plus the base attack from the weapon that's the only thing that's going to increase how much attack bonus you're going to get from bennett well and obviously the level of your elemental burst but yeah so you'd want to get a weapon with the very high base attack so obviously we're going to go to the five stars um the highest base attack weapon is going to be the misplot reforged pretty high base attack you definitely want to use it on bennett if you have it you also have the aquila favonia it has a pretty high base attack so if you have it you can use it on bennett too the substat the passive all of these are going to be useless but it's worth it to use on bennett um and you know you can use the rest of the five stars they have the same base attacks so you have the haran gipaku you have the freedom sword and you have the skyro the blade summit shaper all of these are going to be um you know the same base attacks so if you have them you'd want to use them um one of his best four stars is going to be the alley flash it's also going to have a pretty decent base attack so you can use it on bennett the jade cutter is going to be pretty good on bennett too even though the um ally flash is gonna have a higher base attack but you can use it if you want to um you can use the proud type rancor and the black cliff these are the highest base attack four star weapons after the ally flash the jade cutter is also at the same level with them um i wouldn't recommend using the jade cutter on bennett because it's actually like a waste there are other four stars that has like the same base attack and you know basically you're gonna be wasting the jade cutter on bennett yeah it's gonna also increase your hp but you know you probably don't want to waste it on Bennett but yeah as I said you have Jade Cutter on um, Blacklift and the Proud Type Rancor as I said there are also other energy recharge options definitely wouldn't recommend them at all but if you're lacking energy recharge you might go for them so you have the Faster and Desire the Sacrificial and the Favonius all of them have a low base attack so you probably don't want to go for them try to get energy recharge from other sources but if you still can't get enough energy recharge then yeah you can go for them we're gonna talk about how much energy recharge you need in a little bit now moving on his artifact sets i mean just to be honest i don't know how to make this segment or this part of the video like long enough it's probably gonna be like five seconds but yeah the four piece no plus oblige this is the set for bennett since like 1.0 or something like that it hasn't changed it will probably never change just a simple set you know it's gonna increase your attack also you know fits in with bennett fits in with his buffs it's also going to increase the damage of your elemental burst, which is pretty good on Bennett, I guess. The cooldowns fit with Bennett pretty good too. Um, it's the same duration as his elemental burst. You know, it's basically custom made for Bennett. So yeah, it fits perfectly. You definitely want to use it. No matter how many options you'd want to explore, maybe this set, maybe this set. No, this the Noblesse is definitely going to be the best set on Bennett. So yeah, use the four-piece Noblesse. Moving on to the artifact stats. Before we continue, I just want to say, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So for his artifact stats, for the main stats, um, it's pretty flexible, really. You can use a lot of things depending on what you have on, you know, other things. But generally, you'd want to go energy recharge on your sands, HP percent on your goblet, and heal and bonus if you can on your circlet and or HP percent. The main thing is just make sure you have the best substats. That's the most important thing, really. Um, everything is going to be the same because, as I said, you know, Bennett's main thing is going to be the attack buff. These wouldn't interfere with the attack buff as much so it wouldn't really matter just focus on the better substats now moving on to the substats um you're gonna need energy recharge and hp flat hp or hp percentage all of them are gonna work but whatever the main thing you'd want to focus on is definitely energy recharge um it's gonna be pretty important to get a decent amount of energy recharge from your substats so yeah um just focus on energy recharge maybe some hp to increase your healings and that's it 
Talking about energy recharge, how much energy recharge you're gonna need. You're gonna need around like 180 to 220 energy recharge. Well, maybe some people might say it's a lot, but in my opinion, this is the minimum. If you wanna play him comfortably, 180 is gonna be the bare minimum. Below 180, you're gonna struggle with getting his burst on time, you know, whatever. A lot of things are gonna mess up, especially because Bennett is not like the main character of any team. So you don't wanna be like focusing on him. Oh, is his burst ready? Should I collect? particles and stuff like that you just want to get his burst ready like automatically so 180 is going to be the bare minimum for that and in my opinion it might not really be enough depending on the team but yeah 180 is going to do but if you want to play him like much more comfortably you can go up to like 220 like for me i had been at both at 180 energy recharge and like 220 to 230 energy recharge and i've seen a difference like at 180 i was worried a little bit about about his elemental burst you know sometimes it wasn't ready exactly on time sometimes i had to collect like one particle whatever but it was you know it was fine depending on the team again but once i upgraded him to like 220 i definitely didn't worry about his energy at all i always did his burst and whenever the cooldown was done his burst was always ready oh yeah and also especially because you won't be collecting particles with bennett you want to be doing his skill and then switching to other characters so you're gonna need more energy charge but yeah as i was saying like 220 energy recharge you won't worry about his elemental burst at all it's just basically automatically going to be ready the next time you're going to need to use it so yeah to not talk too much 180 is the bare minimum if you want to play him much more comfortably go up to like 220 and that's it now finally moving on to Bennett's team comps. Um, I mean to be honest, you know, you can use Bennett at any team. We all know that. He has a very high demand in a lot of teams on the abyss, on you know, some of the best teams on the game. He's necessary for some teams, you know, it's Bennett. But just to throw in some examples, we have the national team where Bennett is gonna be pretty good. So we have Sean Ling, Shing Shou, Bennett, and then the flex like Sucrose, Kazuha, or whatever. On this team, Bennett is gonna be buffing Sean Ling. And it's also going to be like kind of a battery for Sean Ling. Um, that's one thing about Bennett. You might want to preferably use him with like a pyro main DPS because he can be a battery at the same time. And he's a very good battery. So yeah, that's like a preference. But he's going to be usable on any main DPS. So you can use Bennett in like a electro charge team. For example, we can have Child, Beidou, Fischl, and then Bennett. He's going to be a team buffer and a healer for the whole team, which is pretty good. But yeah, I'm not going to be giving team examples for Bennett. He literally works on like 90% of the teams on the game. Um, You know, unless the character minds healing, like a certain character doesn't want to go up on like more than 50% HP or something like that. In that case, Bennett might not work with them. Or if the character doesn't scale with attack. Other than that, Bennett is going to work on any team. All right, so that was the video, guys. I hope you got how to build Bennett. If you want to say anything, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see y'all in the next video. Peace.